Hey folks, we're back on this uh, old go kart. Uh, old Briggs runs good. I'll show a video here before we do this swap. It just smokes and it's going through spark plugs like crazy from burning oil. It's not smoking bad. Cylinder and the motor look good. Just needs a set of rings, I believe. Uh, but I'll show you what we've got. We got the Mustang sitting there collecting this. We have a new 212 Hemi picked up last weekend. We're going to swap this onto it. Uh, to get a little further into it, I'll cut you back on and show you where I'm at. Alright, we're back. Just it ain't been long. It didn't take long. Got the engine off. Uh, I possibly may consider selling this engine, and I have another almost complete engine. It just had a few bolts broke off like a cylinder head bolt and a muffler bolt they'd be easy to get out it did run that i got the crank out of but i do have a crank that goes with it it's just tapered if anyone's interested out of the few people that watch this just throw a comment i have paypal or if you want to pick it up locally and tell you where i live uh, but anyway we're gonna get to the predator unboxing i'm gonna go ahead and show this engine here it's a six and a quarter horse briggs intake i've got it for another go-kart project it'll be seen in a later video when i get some money to actually put the thing together but it's a really good running engine i just put a new carburetor on it the other one was trash doesn't knock smoke ping it's a pretty good engine but like i said you'll see that in a later video all right we got this predator 212 it is a hemi and do an unboxing i've never done one that i can remember if i have oh well i may have on the five tech on this mustang i don't remember but uh everyone else does them so why not we're gonna cut this open i have bought one before boxes down there but we're gonna take our harbor freighter no this is a walmart hyper tough box cutter I think either got last year at Black Friday, but we're going to cut this open. This is going on our uh, go-kart replacing the five horsepower Briggs you see sitting over there. It's for sale, by the way. We'll see what we have. I already know what we have. We got some instructions owner's manual we don't need that packaging and we got our engine make sure there's nothing else These engines do not come with oil. You have to put oil in them. I have a quart somewhere I've already bought. I'll just have to find it. And we have our clutch to Chinese Max Torque knockoff. There's our spark plug scrunch. It's about 40 degrees out here, maybe colder now. Probably more like 35. I think we'll have to take this off to put our throttle on for the go-kart. And this is going to have to be spun around because we can't pull start it through the seat. Oh, 
Okay, I'll cut you back on once I get some things done. Okay, seen a lot of videos on this, but uh, take 10 to 10 millimeter nuts off the front of that, slide your air box off. It's got a hose that goes on the valve cover. For some reason, it's got a vent tube goes to the gas tank, but you have two options for throttle. If you're running the governor, you can either come in the back and do it here, or into the front and put it here. If my cable is long enough, I'm going to to put it through on the back but we'll see i just figured i'd show you that the engine started on the second pull the last one i done started on the first pull but i did go ahead and clock my recoil around it's got three i think they were eight millimeter someone can correct me if i'm wrong but i think they were spun it around bolted it back up but i'll cut you back on once i get a little further into this He's a runner. It's a lot quieter. There you go. There's our T12 swap. Later on, we might do a stage one, and I'm sure it'll have to have a live axle. As usual, thank you for watching. Have a good day.